everybody this video is for people with sensitive skin now if you have sensitive skin you pretty much know because any products that you put on your skin that is a new product or isn't um, hyper energetic that it um, has been tested regularly to make sure that it's for sensitive skin is going to make your skin um, itchy and irritated so you might have irritation on the cheeks or on the chin it might be very um, itchy throughout the day so when it comes to cleaning the skin there is basically four things that you use you use a cleanser you use a toner you use a exfoliator and a moisturizer Now for sensitive skin, you want to use a very mild um, cleanser, um, something like a cream or a milk would probably be best. Just make sure that it is for sensitive skin, it usually says on it. A toner, I would basically stay away from using a toner because it is going to irritate your skin. Now unless you find that you need to use a toner just to really freshen up your skin, I would really avoid to use an exfoliator it can be difficult to find you're going to want to use a very thick exfoliator with very little beads and you're going to want to do it um, maybe once a week or maybe twice a week um, depending on how bad you find you have dry skin exfoliators in a specific brand can have a scrub and exfoliator and depending on the brand they can switch so exfoliator is mostly used on the face and it's got beads in it with a thick um, texture of a cream or a lotion whereas a scrub has more beads and less lotion it's used on the body so you've really got to look and really read what it says on the actual container because they can switch the names and it can become quite confusing you should be using a very um, thick moisturizer should be applied regularly and you should use a night cream often as well And when you're cleaning um, eye makeup off, I would make sure you always use a eye makeup remover cream because if um, rubbing too much your eyes is going to cause irritation. So if you just um, do a nice light sweep of the um, eye makeup remover. But choosing a mask for sensitive skin because of the irritation and the redness and the itching, using a gel mask is going to be very soothing and going to be a lot more relaxing than using any other mask. Now if you're using this in the salon, you're going to use a mixture of rose water and chamomile because it is the, um, the easiest and the weakest type for sensitive skin. foundation you're going to want to get a foundation that has the logo for the sensitive skin types um, make sure that it's tested well it'll probably discuss whether it is for sensitive skin and I would use um, a cream for extra sensitive uh, extra sensitive cream for your skin or the new thing out which is the um, the powder minerals they're great for sensitive skin because um, it's just going to give maximum coverage without putting too much onto the skin and it also has um, uh, minerals and vitamins that are going to go into the skin and actually help the skin so I mean they're for everybody's skin type but I would suggest definitely for sensitive skin that it is one of the things that you should consider so I hope that helped and if you have any other questions about sensitive skin or figure out what other products that can be used just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you um, I'm Shanae Katie and thanks for watching